What's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Thanks for joining me. I got a video. I haven't done one of these in a little while. So this ain't gonna be a long video, I don't think. Maybe maybe, maybe 10 minutes or a little, little less even. Excuse me, sorry for the noise. Uh, crap, my pockets. <laughs> um, well, it finally happened. We got us the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 on Netflix. It's an exclusive. Uh, if you want to see the trailer, there's a trailer reaction on my channel. There's also many different channels that have just the trailer up. Uh, I don't want to show it on this channel and have it get me copyright blocked or whatever. So, Or on this video, rather, excuse me. But, uh, uh, excuse me, sorry. Drink water. So in 1974, we got the original TCM. And in my opinion, it is the best of the original horror movies. Like we got, in my opinion, we've got, or how do I say it? The original of like this era. I think the era that was the most influential on horror, okay? Like the famous monster stuff, while awesome, I don't think it's anywhere near as influential on horror for 50 years as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, Friday the 13th, um, 80s stuff, 70s and then 80s stuff is is infinitely more uh, influential on what we look at as horror movies today. And so we got 48 years later, we get Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. It's supposed to be a movie that takes place directly, it's a direct sequel to the original movie it's set 50 years in the future and i will be as vague as i possibly can i think i'm gonna wait about a week or two and then i'm gonna have like a spoiler review or spoiler talk live stream or something like that on a thursday afternoon probably but maybe not next thursday but with the following thursday so probably two weeks i want to give it some time for people to watch it um it's a short movie it's like 84 minutes I've watched it twice. Watched it once last night and then once again today, being the 18th of February, the day it was officially released. Um, the first time I watched it, the first quarter of the movie would really bugged me quite a bit uh, until I got to the end of the movie and I was able to look at it as a whole piece of artwork and a whole story. And then on second viewing, the first quarter of it was way better. I think they do things that are maybe are tongue in cheek in this movie, and you're supposed to feel a certain way about certain things, uh, and then you get some satisfaction later on. That's as vague as I can put it. Uh, I'll say that I'll say that the kills in this movie are exceptional. Uh, the acting is pretty solid. There's a young lady that's in this movie. What is her name? Hold on. I know this is gonna sound weird. I, I she is. Um, Sarah Yarkin plays Melody, the girl with the curly hair. She's, what's the word, man? Like, divisive, like polarizing. She's polarizing, man. I like her a lot. I think she's a great actor. I think she's extremely good looking. Um, it doesn't really matter much, but like, I mean, she's, it's, it's nice to see if you see like Chris Hemsworth on screen, like he's an attractive man. So it's, it's kind of hard to not be like, oh, that guy looks awesome. Um, but I, I like her a lot, man. I think she did a good job in the movie. Uh, the lady that played Sally Hardesty might be my biggest complaint. But how do I not ruin something by saying this? She doesn't take up a lot of screen time. So, you know... The movie was a little flashier and a little uh, slicker than I was hoping it would be as far as the way it looked. Excuse me. I was hoping it would be a little grimier. That being said, um, this is probably my favorite Netflix original by a lot. By a lot. Upon second viewing, I'm already going to watch it a, a third time pretty soon. I've got to find a way to get this on disc. I want this on disc. Um... Yeah, man, this movie was good. It was... Dude, I like that it was short, man, because I was afraid it was going to come out and be like the Halloween Kills movie. And I don't think that's what it was like, man. I think there's going to be some similarities. 
I think that there is going to be people that... Well, they compare the two and they're going to say that they're very similar. I disagree. Uh, man, this is really difficult without talking about the content of the movie. Uh, but yeah, the movie was good, man. I, I don't On a scale of 1 to 10, I don't really know where to go with it yet. Um, I know if I was going to just say yay or nay, I'm going to go with a, 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 a really excited thumbs up because this could have been a bomb. This could have been horrible. And on first viewing, man, I was worried about the first quarter of the movie. I was like, oh, man, uh, are we going to go this direction with this? And it really didn't. And there were some things in there that was like, ah, we thought we were doing that and we didn't. You're welcome. And it's like, oh, thank you guys for having some cojones, you know? Sorry, I'm trying to just stay on this water, man. I'm trying to drink a lot of water and get healthier and taking my vitamins and trying to get more exercise. Man, life is difficult. I'm about to hit 40 years old and I'm worried about everything because everything hurts now. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. I think it was a good movie, man. I, I, I reserve the right to change my mind at any time because we're, as humans, we're constantly changing. But, uh... Oh, I thought that was, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, I I think it's a pretty good movie. I I would like to know other people's opinions, and please, man, do not spoil this movie in the comments. Don't be that person, because if I see some spoiler comments, not only am I gonna try, I'm gonna delete the comment, I'm gonna block you from the channel, because that's that's nonsensical. We are going to have a live stream where we can talk all the spoilers we want. So just be patient, and uh, I may even do one sooner than I may do one like the following Tuesday, so like a week and a half or something, because. Uh, I want to talk about this movie. Then. Talk about this movie with everybody. I want to, to just, I want to soak it in. I want to watch it once or twice again, and uh, really know what's up. I think that there was a couple of things they could approve. I don't think this was no nine out of ten. I'm gonna go with a solid eight though. Like a seven five eight, somewhere in that neighborhood, man. This was really good for what they were able to give us because you gotta think, man. Everybody involved with this movie, none of them were involved with the original. And nobody cared about this franchise like they would if they were involved with the original. Nobody was, uh, there's no Carpenter involved. There's no, you know, uh, the, look, there's, there's going to be things you can nitpick about this movie. But I'm going to say an eight because I think that the margin for error on this was really slim. You're going to mess this up really easily. And they skated that line really well, so... I'm going to say, I hope you go see this. It's real short. It's an hour and 20. Um, I say, if you're a fan of horror movies at all, please go watch this. Because I want them to know that we appreciate this movie. It was infinitely better than anything that came out last year, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, awesome, awesome movie. And I'm pretty excited to, to, to watch it again. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, 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 still, I'm still soaking it in. It's only been not even... 18 hours since I watched it the first time. So within an 18 hour period of time, I've watched it twice. And at first I was bouncing back and forth, but the more I thought about it, the second viewing was way better. Like I really enjoyed the second viewing because I knew it was coming. I knew how it was going to happen. So I got to enjoy all the stuff about it that I wasn't sure I should enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as where it falls in the ranking of Texas Chainsaw movies, I don't even know, man. I have no idea where to put it on that list. I know it's not as good as the original. I personally like number two quite a bit. I personally like Leatherface the beginning. I like, uh, was it Leatherface or is it? Yeah, I think, no, I can't remember, man. It's, it's, it's a really violent one. You know what? Let me look it up real quick. Hold on. Because I like the, uh, let's see. Let me pull up all the movies. Okay franchise. Here we go. Texture Chase on Masker, Texture Chase on 2, Leatherface, the tech, no, no. No, I think I like Leatherface from 2017 quite a bit. That is a brutal, brutal movie. So the last one that came out, I really like that movie a lot. I know that's probably not a popular opinion. That was a good one, man. But see, like, as far as the whole franchise, I think it's pretty solid. The original's amazing. Number two's, honestly, I, I know it's a weird movie, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't seen number three in quite a while, so I can't really comment on it. 
But uh, The Next Generation is one that I love that movie. Um, the remake, I thought was good. Okay. The beginning was probably their weakest movie at this point. The, so, the one from 06 and 2013 were probably the weakest two movies. In the, in the beginning... And I haven't seen those in a long time. So, it's a pretty strong franchise, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I was talking to somebody in the, on, on Instagram about this uh, he likes Halloween the best I'd have to just flat out disagree I think this is a stronger franchise yeah I might do a ranking video on like the you know top 10 horror franchises or something because this would be way up there it'd be up there like top 3 for me so anyways man Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 please go watch this movie support it doesn't cost you any actual dinero from your pockets just a little bit of your time if you get a chance go check it out uh, let me know in the comments of the, whether you liked it or not. You can just please don't spoil anything. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Uh, otherwise, thanks for hanging out for a few minutes. I appreciate your time. Sorry for rambling. I think this is a pretty impactful movie. It's an important one. So, uh, you know, yeah, let's talk about it. I'll see you in the live stream. All right. Peace.